What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Afan, and today we'll be watching the movie known as Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm trying to think which movie it is, like which number. Let me see, actually, I have the list open right here. So I have Iron Man 9, the ninth movie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. First time seeing this movie. Never seen it before, and yeah. Finally getting around to it. When you're watching all the movies, by the way, next one after this is what's next? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Avengers Age of Ultron. So yeah, all of them I'll be watching. And then the new ones that come out as well, Black Widow will be coming out. So like eh, pretty much any movie that comes out, I'll be watching all of them for the first time. So that's brilliant, isn't it? I'm also doing Avatar the Last Airbender on the channel. A couple of other things as well. You can check it out. Uh, and also suggest other movies that you would like me to see i haven't really seen any movies at all so pretty much anything you mention will be my first time watching it is the ninth movie so the first eight movies are already on the channel you can go check those out as well but yeah subscribe if you're excited for that and much more i'm planning on doing other stuff as well but for now we're sticking to marvel and i'm going to try to finish them as quickly as possible now guardians of the galaxy don't know much about them i just know they're guardians of the galaxy yeah <laughs> And that's really all I know. I know very little about Marvel. I do know a little bit about DC Comics, but Marvel Comics, I know very little, unfortunately. And that's really the reason why I'm sort of watching these movies, is to learn a bit more about this fantastic universe I've missed out on. But, you know, it's never too late, I guess, right? Anyways, let's jump into the movie without any further ado. A Mountain Dew, that's right. Earth, 1988. All right, brilliant. Awesome Mix Volume 7 or 1? Raft, Attention Visitors. Oh, I thought he was sitting in a wheelchair. Okay, no, it's just a regular chair. Your mama wants to speak with you. Is that a Paraguay flag right next to the American flag? Not entirely sure, it looks like it. So his mom is sick in the hospital room 5 w105 oh oh she's really sick why have you been fighting with the other boys again baby little frog that ain't done nothing hmm. you sound like your daddy come on right from the get-go you're gonna make me cry Hmm. Angel composed out of pure light. I wonder if, like, that's how he actually was, or if it's just like her. You open it up when I'm gone, okay? Here, Grandpa. Come on, man, movie. All right. Guess we're doing this then. Take my oh, come on, kid, take her hand. Hey, come on. Take my hand. Oh no. 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 no! I was told this was the funny movie. And he didn't take her hand. <sighs> Mom. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, shit. This movie isn't messing about, is it? What an intro. I was not ready for that. 26 years later. Morag. Morag? Morag? Abandoned planet M three one J or some I don't know somewhere. Um, I I'm a bit confused. What is what is that device? That uh, so there were once people here, and that's what the device is like showing, like recreating. It's like Tony Stark's hologram technology thing you know that you used in iron man 3 i think it was or one i don't know which one but like recreated an event that happened or something is it like something like that or i'm not entirely sure 
At first I was like, is that like a secret society that you cannot see, but you like see with that thing? Oh, he's got the tape thing. Volume, not sure if that's a seven or one. Pretty upbeat song. All right. I like the shift in tone, you know. What, are, what did they do to you, bro? Well, maybe they didn't do anything because he's not letting them. I'm just trying to... So how old would he be now? 36? If anybody knows, let me know. Whoa. Huh? Nice. Drop it. Like it's hot? My name is Peter Quill, okay? Peter, okay. We have questions for you. Ronan. You know what? There's another name you might know me by. Star Lord. Star Lord. Who? Star Lord, man. Legendary outlaw. He's dead? He's dead. No, he isn't. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa! Lovely dodge. Okay, how is he okay after a fall like that? I'm assuming he's just a regular human, right? That thing is so cool, it pulls everything. What a jump. What a scene. Uh-oh. What is that, like a cannon? There it is. Oh, lovely. Okay. His ship looks kind of like a butterfly. It's colorful. Looks like it's got oh, mucho wings. That can't be good, right? Can it? <laughs> Was that a troll doll? Yeah, I think so. There it is. <laughs> I like how he's about to die and I'm focusing on the stupid doll. Oh, okay, lovely. Just in time. All right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Peter, cool. <laughs> Get it? Because, anyways. Great. Great. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I forgot you're here. <laughs> I just realized she was wearing uh, that shirt with Raft and all that. Uh, he was wearing when he was a kid, right? I think so. There's the doll again. I don't know if you call that a doll or what, like a troll thing, right? I think it's a troll doll. I'm not entirely sure. I say NASA. Peace treaty signed by the Kree Emperor and Xandar's Nova Prime. Peter, you have coal. No, we don't. We don't. Oops. <laughs> Yondu. Now don't you worry about Mr. Quill. What's that? I'm gonna kill him myself. I was looking at the background. The other ships had similar wings to the one that he had. It's just they were all black, I think, or metal color. Dark, basically. His were obviously, you know, brighter orange. They call me terrorists. Because I obey the ancient laws of my people, the Kree. Mm. Those who do not. This dude is in good shape. Thousand years of. What is that war paint? Our government signed a peace treaty. And your culture are a dis Hammer of Kree. What's his name? I will cure it. Oh no. Their blood is blue? Ronan, all right. Like Cree? He's a thief. And now. Oh, Ronan! Oh, this guy! Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. I promised Thanos I would retrieve the. Thanos. This happens again. You'll be facing our father without his prize. But I know Xandar. Ronan has already decreed that I. Don't speak for me. <laughs> you will not fail. Well. Let's see. There's always a first time, right? Xander, capital of Nova Empire. <laughs> They're 
island or whatever looks like that uh, drone thing, ship thing, you know, spaceship thing. You believe they call us criminals when he's assaulting us with that hair? <laughs> Look how it thinks it's so cool. <laughs> Disrespect our guy Stan Lee like that. Forty thousand units. Set alive. Yondu forty. As commissioned. Where's Yondu? <laughs> yeah, well, I almost died getting it for you. National hazard, I'm sure, in your line of work. Yeah. Headed freak working for a dude named Ronan. Hey, Mr. Quill, I truly am. But I want no part of this transaction. Oh. My culture is wiped well, from existence. Oh, I thought the Zendarians were like humans or something. It looked like it. Hey, we had a deal, bro! Well, you don't have a deal no more. You have the bearing of a man, well. Oh, I, you know, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> oh, myself. Ah! I... If it's that important of a... Ah! Whatever it is, orb... <laughs> Why are you just tossing it around in front of the people in public? Wow, she's flexible. <laughs> well, all is fair in uh, Love and War, right? Not entirely sure which one this is, though. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh. Bob and Weave, bro. Never run the straight line. They do that so often. Someone else is gonna pick it up, right? Nope. Okay. Well, that's proven wrong. Oh, lovely. I don't learn. One of my issues. Oh, okay. Her leaded. No, no. He's tossing that thing around again, like, bro. I guess he said he doesn't learn. You know. Okay. Oh no. You can you can regrow? There's a tree, right? He lost both his arms, buddy. Hey, grow, grow back, right? I live for the simple thing. How much this is gonna hurt. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> Yeah. It will grow back. Drop your weapon. What, is this like the police or something? Uh. Okay, yeah, I think it is like the police. The Nova Corps, you are under there it is. If it isn't Star Prince. <laughs> Star Lord. <laughs> He's got a code name. It's, it's an outlaw name. <laughs> outlaw name. Cool to have a code name. It's not that weird. An alias. Fascist. You say fascist? <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> okay. I see what they meant then when they said it's a comedy. But that opening scene was, ugh. He is slaughtering children. That is your business. Prick. <laughs> Lovely. ...on a lower life form. 13 counts of theft. They call it Groot, a humanoid plant that's been traveling recently as eight... I'm trying to read, but it goes away so quickly. Sequencing record. And Quill from... <laughs> <laughs> uh, alias Space Lord, Star Lord, come on, got it wrong. Retinal scan. Transport all four to the kiln. <laughs> he doesn't know how the machine works. The kill. What's a raccoon? It's what you are, stupid. <laughs> no thing like me except me. <laughs> well. Not your typical raccoon, but a raccoon nonetheless. I wasn't retrieving the orb for Ronan. I had an agreement to sell it to a third party. Still no talking good like me and you. So his vocabulistics is limited to <laughs> I and M and Groot. Exclusively in that order. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> that was quite a sentence he said right there. Put that away. Oh, that's his, um... Uh... That song belongs to me! He's attached. Makes sense. He was listening to that. Thing, right? I don't know what it's called. When his uh, mom died. 
Did you just spray him with <laughs> tomato juice or carrot juice? Ooh, what is that? I'm not sure what that is, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's a good reference. <laughs> huh? Oh, Gamora. Not him. I'm like, what? A lot of prisoners here have lost their families to Ronan and his goons. Oh, I see. Our dreams compared to what's behind me. Got a line, our dreams compared to what's... Ooh. Gamora. She's a badass. Think clear. This one here is our booty. <laughs> Wow. To be hated like that. Dave Batista. Wait, what? Here to clean up the blood down there. Ah! They're gonna kill her. You know who I am, yes. David Batista? <laughs> the animal? <laughs> Drax the destroyer. They should have called him Drax the animal. Ronan murdered my wife. Oh, that. Oh. He's not here to save her. He laughed! Why do I feel bad for her? She does... Doesn't look like a good person. I'm no family to Ronan or Thanos. She said that she's her, his daughter, Thanos is, right? I thought she was. That's when you... Why would I put my finger on his throat? <laughs> Oh, lovely. <laughs> That's right. You know what that is. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows. No. <laughs> He's so scared of him. He's like, no, no. That was my favorite night. Well. <laughs> Die. Then why stop the big... Yeah, why? You know where to sell my orb. How are we... There it is. Thanos requires your presence. No! We're we gonna get to see Thanos? Respect Thanos Sanctuary, domain of Thanos. Yep. Turn! I make mean, you! I only ask that you take this matter seriously. Alright. The only matter I do not take seriously, boy. Boy. <laughs> Your politics bore me. You alienated my favorite daughter, Gamora. My favorite daughter, Gamora, right in front of her. And I will bathe the stallways in your blood. <laughs> bathe the stallways in your blood. He likes to do that to his enemies, right? I think that's what he did to that dude when he smashed his head. His blood was like going down the hallway. Or I don't know what it was going down, but going down something. <laughs> I think that was his blood. I'm not sure, actually. Attractive, so maybe you can work out some sort of trade. You must be joking. No, I've really heard they find you attractive. <laughs> yeah. I think Groot's gonna get him. Get up there without being seen. Right there. There you go. Freaking Quartex battery. And that guy's just watching. <laughs> is that Drax? The destroyer? Everything is gonna slam into emergency mode. Once we have it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Emergency mode incoming. They get that last. <laughs> You got it first, so have fun with that. Or we can just get it first and improvise. There you go. <laughs> I'm Groot. Drop the device immediately. <laughs> Fire. That you are, indeed. Does bullets affect him? I guess you could catch fire, as you know, wood, but. All right, he's bulletproof. Brilliant. Whoa! Go on. Oh, please tell me he's gonna Batista bomb someone. Come on, bar bomb him. Well, close enough. <laughs> Creepy, little beast. Creepy little beast. Lovely. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Now he's got his one stuff. <laughs> 
I don't know talking so well. You need my what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, cool, cool. There, there's a lot of comedy in this one. I like it. And obviously, well, that first scene was very heartwarming. Very, um, gloomy. I'm assuming it's gonna have a similar sort of end as well. Drop the leg! And your... Drop the leg. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Whoa! What a jump. Uh-oh. Hit him with the leg! Kick him! Kick him! <laughs> Get it? Because... If you hit him with it, anyways. You, man who was laying with the raspberry. <laughs> was one time. <laughs> well, one time too many, apparently. Wait, so why is Drax all of a sudden on their side? Who cares? Let's go. Let's do this. Well then. Spare me your foul gaze, woman. <laughs> why is this one here? Yeah. Stay by your side until he kills your boss. Cops <laughs> will kill me if I don't. Lovely. That answers it. He wasn't funny. No, wait, what did he look like hopping around? What? <laughs> uh, oh, so he was just pulling his leg, huh? <laughs> Anyways. Do not ever call me at the sword. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over <laughs> my head. My real there you go. Too <laughs> That's why you didn't understand that. <laughs> okay, it makes sense. Those are some big guns. Well, you've got some big guns right standing right next to you as well. Ooh. Rodent, we are ready for your plan. I was like, did she just call him Ronan? That's Rodent. I recognize this act over a flame to the silver. This is quite delicious. <laughs> uh oh. They're gonna be able to get away? Of course they are. Yeah. <laughs> He's got control of the drones. Lovely. It's gonna push it up. Yep. Oh no, down. Do I have a plan? Wait, what? Uh oh, let's go. Okay, lovely. I thought it was gonna like smash out through the roof or something, but. This will do too, I guess. If he survives, that is, yeah. And it's stuck, so. I like how rockets couldn't break that glass, but his foot did it. What a badass quill. <laughs> but I mean, they were already pretty weakened by the rockets, so. What? The music thing. How are you gonna possibly- Just keep the Milano close- Milano? Like, Italy? <laughs> Ah, uh, you're everything now, after that. You know, there's this gun in Halo. It's like an alien gun. It looks just like the weapons he has. It's like that too. Like two things going around shooting some sort of an energy. Ah, yes, he's still got him on. All right, there it is. Oh! <laughs> he's got the same exact headphones as well. The orange ones. I guess he loves the color orange. His uh, ship is orange as well, right? What were you retrieving? An imbecile. <laughs> oh, lovely. <laughs> it's a bomb. You leave it lying around? Box? What's a box gonna do? How about this one? No, whoa, hey. No, oh. He never opened it. That's that gift. No one's blown up moons. You just want to suck the joy out of everything. <laughs> lovely. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, it's gonna have an emotional ending. All right, cool, cool, cool. Just you, murderous! I let you live once, princess! I am not a princess! <laughs> Until we get the money. I have no interest in money. More money for the three of us. Remainders, yep. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> An agreement, but I would never be partners with the likes of you. Well, that makes you partners. Blacklight, this look like a Jackson Pollock painting. You got issues, Quill. But, if it is what I think he meant, uh, then yeah, he's got issues, for sure. <laughs> well. <laughs> the high-end community is a very tight- I- <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, lovely. <laughs> that thing on his head is controlling that, or is it actually his whistles? This is the buyer? Yes, master. Karina. People do have elbows, do they not? Huh? Then you... Is that a dark elf? It looks like it. From Thor, right? Thor Dark World had those. The metallic... Malik it something or uh, something like that, I don't know. Chop chop. Ooh. Yeah, that gun. That looks like that gun from Halo. Man, I heard Halo has such a great story as well. But I've never really I never played the campaign mode, you know. I always play online with friends, but don't know the story. Apparently it's really iconic. I might play it some point on this channel. I don't know. Might give it a go. It's called Nowhere with a K. There are no regulations whatsoever here. All right, perfect. Ah, oh, Groot. That was sweet, but I doubt it's gonna do anything for her. I think she would have liked money or something more. What do you expect us to do while we wait? Yes, yes, yes. There you go. What it all thing? Put more of this liquid into our body. <laughs> you said that wasn't bad shit. Well, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> your mother gave it to me. Mother. Or you can dance. I'm a warrior and an assassin. I do not dance. Warriors and assassins can dance too. Entire city full of people with sticks up their butt. Who put the sticks up their butt? <laughs> Oh, these people are great. Come on, Gamora. Have a listen. The songs have been pretty good in this uh, movie so far. I don't really know any of them, but one thing's for sure. These people need to stop texting me. Wait, 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 hold on. What's going on here? <laughs> Fooled around and fell in love, eh? No! Oh, what the hell? I know who wait here to succumb to you pelvic sword! <laughs> Pelvic surgery. Oh, lovely. Uh oh. There's another kind of pelvic sorcery going on in there. And not the good kind of pelvic sorcery. That is no respect. That is awesome. Lovely. Everyone else, Rocket, you're drunk. All right? No one's laughing at you. They're all drunk. I didn't ask to get made. I didn't ask to be torn apart and put back together over and over and turned into some, some little monster. Rocket. Four billion units. Rock Don't yell it out, bro. Nobody's listening. So that's what w w was on his back. I experimented on him. But who, though? Of fauna, relics. <laughs> CCC. P. Tanalir Tavar. Tanalir Tavar, the collector. <sighs> Trying to see what these things are, but I can't really see them properly. What is that thing there? <laughs> that thing is Groot. I never thought I'd be a Groot. Now you have. Allow me to pay you now so that I may own your carcass. At the moment of your death, of <laughs> oh, lovely. Your chair? That's your pet. What? Siobhan. <laughs> He's very sensitive. <laughs> of course, Peter. Perfectionist, isn't it? Concentrated ingots. Infinity stones? Infinity stones. These stones, it seems, can use the stone civilizations like roots. That's the purple stone. That's the blue stone. That's the red. Out of me right now. <laughs> me as well. Okay, not really though, but <laughs> themselves, but even they were quickly destroyed. The purple stones here in the orb. Beautiful. <laughs> Fascinated, white. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Uh oh. You 
Uh-oh. Wash her. She's going to touch it. Well, I guess she's just going to... Is, is, is she going to destroy this whole world, or is she just going to get destroyed? Lena, stand back. I will no longer be your slave! Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. She's shrieking. I would be too. She's her face is like coming up. Oh my god. Well, there goes the collection. What the? F yeah. What the? P <laughs> exactly. Oh, he's alive too. All right, cool. The dog's free. Done for you. Why would you want to save it? Because I'm one of the idiots who lives it. There you go. I was gonna say something similar. Do not allow the stone to fall into Ronan's hand. Deliver it to Nova. Nova Scotia? <laughs> Canada? New Scotland. You're despicable. Dishonorable. Faithless! I still need my fuck called Ronan! Yeah, he did. He asked that dude to send the message, right? Well, but you move, boy! And he's here. Ah! Come on, he's... You're no match. Just let it go. It's gonna kill you, Drex. <laughs> this guy. I mean, I get it. Vengeance is on, is on his mind, but... The hell was that thing? It looked like the ship wasn't piloting that ship. <laughs> the person inside looked like a ship. It looked like that ship that he was in. Oh, he's doing some damage. Whoa, okay. Doubt I'll remember killing you either. I was gonna say, um, doesn't matter. What's out here? Why are these things not meant to be out here? I hated you least. They have other siblings, huh? He'll kill us all. Not all. We'll already be dead. Yeah. Well then. Uh oh. I hope you feel good, Nebula. There's the orb. Get the orb. Uh oh. The ship took the orb. Oh no, they got us. So Ronan, Ronan got. Okay, well, all that for nothing. What's her name? It's like a Joker scene. What is that? Like acid or something, or is it just paint? In the same pod. <laughs> She's not dead yet. Is he gonna save her? Damn it! He's gonna save her. No. Oh, he's getting help. Head nowhere. If you're there, come get me. All yours. Oh wow. Wait, but what? Uh, so, what? Like only one person can fit in the pot, or what? Is he gonna put her in the pot and stay out here on her? On... Oh, he's giving her the head thing, but it's just the head, though. What about her arms and everything? Oh shit, he's gonna die. She's back. Oh, there's light. The ship is coming for him. Right? Yeah, there they are. All right, cool, cool, cool. They're saved. Yeah, their arms and stuff are... But at least she can breathe this way, so there's that. Lovely positioning. Is that guy back there? And also, she doesn't care. Yeah, yeah I don't think she cares. And where's that guy? They got the orb. What? Yep. Oh, there. Okay, there he is. What? All right, Groot. You are Groot indeed. Oh, the rage is to cover my loss. Yeah. Trying to see where the hole is, cause he. Ooh, my wife and childhood dead. <laughs> Come on, Rocket. 
Everybody's got dead people. That's true. Used to get everybody else dead along the way. That's true. Still, a little bit of empathy, a little bit of passion goes a long way. But I guess that's his Rocket's way of showing his love, his passion. Who are the only friends we ever had? And there's only two of us. Three. Three. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Rocket. Oh, you're making me beat up grass. <laughs> Is he going to be able to contain it? Oh, he looks like he might be able to. You call me <laughs> so butthurt about that comment, huh, boy? I guess you don't like getting called boy, boy. <laughs> Thanos, I'm coming for you. Shut up, boy. <laughs> After Xandar, you're going to kill him. He can try. You kill him, I will help you destroy a thousand planets. Wow, both his daughters hate him. Lovely, what a dad. Dad of the year. They never tasted Terran before. Terran. Like it's some great thing not eat. <laughs> People don't even think about eating someone else. <laughs> First never to be grateful for it. Yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> very true. Family. You don't give a damn about your Terra. Cinnamon. Uh oh. Whistle! Yeah, his thing's coming up, going live again. Walk crossing. Captain's gotta teach stuff! Captain's gotta teach stuff! <laughs> you are saying goodbye to the biggest score you have ever seen. This stone? I hope you got something better than that. Ain't nobody stealing from Ronan. You got a ringer. Her? Yep. Everything there is to know about Rome. She does, that's true. Hey, what do you say, Yondu, huh? Me and you taking down Mark side by side like the old days. Like the old days. Come on, Yondu. Am <laughs> <laughs> I right? What is that? Someone attacked him? Oh, is that Rocket and them? Doesn't need to. I'm giving you to the count of five. It's me, for God's sakes, we figured it out. We're fine. Oh, hey, what, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> we have to stop Ronan. I have a plan. You've got a plan. Yes. For no, he doesn't. It's not that unique of a thing to say. Yeah, but you don't have a plan. I believe you have a plan. He doesn't. Part of a plan. Part of a plan, there you go. Just saved Quill. When did we establish? Like three seconds ago. No, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Lovely. What percentage? I don't know. Twelve percent. Twelve. That's a fake laugh. It's real. <laughs> That's not a plan. I am Groot. So he is Groot. Yep. Groot's the only one of you who has a clue. He eats himself? I know it's just a leaf, but like, that's him though, right? Like, it's like biting your finger off. I don't know how it works, man. Losers. Folks who have lost stuff. Our homes, our families, normal lives. Giving us a chance to give a shit. Well. Stopping Ronan is impossible. Not impossible, nothing's impossible, come on. Well, not nothing, but you know. To die among my friends. You are an honorable man. All right. I will fight this All right, what about you, Gro Groot? Let me guess, I'm Groot? See my wife and daughter again. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Yes, you are. He's the only one left. Come on, Rocket Boy. Oh, what the hell? I don't got that far to 
lifespan any. Ah, uh, lovely. Now I'm standing. You all have. <laughs> lovely. Shit jackass. We're standing in a circle. <laughs> yep. <laughs> all right, let's do this. How many of them are gonna die? Who's inside? I think of Shakar and his paper people. Ah, uh, Drax. He's amazing. Batista's done a good job portraying his, uh, his character, you know? Take the plan! That guy's eye! No, we don't. No, we don't need that guy's eye. <laughs> <Work the pain. laughs> it's like that leg. Come on. Cross me. Good try. I was Loki hoping, Loki, that uh, Groot would be wearing that suit as well. He says that he's an a hole. <laughs> he's not 100%. I, <laughs> I don't know that I believe anyone. 100%. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yeah. All right. He believes him. He believes he's 100% dead. <laughs> Who's in there? That is kind of cool. So that they can't see him? Is that what that is? Like a cover? Violence die! They're beneath us! Well, it didn't last for too long. Or long enough, I should say. Whoa. It's a big ship, you know? It takes a lot to move. Oh, that was a close one. There's another one. Oh, lovely. Uh-oh. He's not. Uh-oh. Come on. Eject. 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 Boy, I'll see you at the end of this. Oh, my God. Oh, his, he's going down, too. Oh my god, how are they maneuvering around all this? Anarian Sal of the Nova Corps. With a record I advised against trusting. <laughs> well. They got my dick message! <laughs> they got your dick message indeed. <sighs> We're just like Kevin Bacon. I'm sure you are. I don't know who that is. <laughs> the Dark Aster must not Dark Aster. What's that? Is that a bird or is that a cow or a bull or a ram? You know what I mean? There's like a symbol on that Dark Aster thing. Whoa, what are they? Uh-oh. Is that going to be able to hold? Hmm. I am Groot. Yep. I am Groot. Please need to once again have friends. <laughs> this dub tree here. <laughs> this green horse. You <laughs> <laughs> oh, Drax. Lovely. Stupid traitor. Nobody talks to my friends like that. Except you, right? <laughs> That's how it goes. No one talks shit to your friends except you. You got it. And you wanted that thing, right? Huh? What the hell is that arrow thing? They're all dead. Ship destroyed. Pilot dead. Oh, wow. Huh. Let's go. Uh oh. Sister fight. Sisters fight. Microcraft <laughs> pilots. Enact immolation. A priority should be the safety of the citizens. Come on. Break formation.
How did that thing just disappear back there? I believe I'm taking orders from a hamster. No, believe it. Believe it. Star Lord. Here we go. Okay. Well, it worked. Ooh. Never make it to Rony. Everybody shoot them before they hit the ground. But they still fall on the ground. They don't, they don't just disappear. Right? I mean, they're in tiny pieces that are scattered. So I guess it doesn't do as much damage, although it covers more area, though. Hmm. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, that was a good one. Oh my god. Means death. <laughs> Finger to the throat means death, yep. Metaphor. <laughs> Metaphor. <laughs> what? Well, there's that. <laughs> oh, you are Groot. <laughs> that smile from Drax. All right, cool. I think I, th I think they're dead. You're, you're... <laughs> Lovely. Tinder on which. Swipe right, swipe left. All of them? Oh no, all of them. All of them. Gamora hasn't opened the door. She's a bit busy. She's a little bit busy, just a wee bit. Uh oh. And weaponless now. Against her sister. Saved by the hook thing, whatever that is. Help us fight Ronin. <laughs> what is it with people losing their hand in these in this world, man? Got him? Shoot! He's fine. Reload. Come on. Reload. Because he's fine. You did it. Yeah, but he's fine. He did it. Yes. But Ron. Yep. He's fine. Told you. Reload. Reload. Boy. <laughs> oh, I thought they would be dead. Guess not. Do Family. Screams were pitiful. Okay, well, he's just. They're all crazy. I mean, I get it. You're trying to kill Ronan, but you nearly killed. Well, I say nearly. I don't know. He might have killed his team or companions as well. Okay, no, they're fine. I think they're fine. What about Ronan? If that. Thing didn't kill him. I doubt a sh spaceship hitting him would kill him. What about him, though? What about Groot? Is he gonna be able to survive this? He'll absorb the impact. People inside will be safe. But what about him? No, Groot, you'll die. Hmm. Yeah, I thought so too. Why? Hmm. <laughs> We are Groot. <laughs> you bastard. All right, we know four words now. Let's play the music, the song. That's Groot. The pieces, I mean, all around. Well, I don't, I don't think Ronan is dead. 
He's got the Infinity Stone, right? Hey, yep, told ya. Hey, he's not gonna go down that easily. Or at all, I don't know. Not with the stone, right? We'll have to take the stone from him. Oh, no. Guardians of the galaxy. Hmm. And his he does... He's attacked him twice now and has not killed him. Renounce your paltry gods! Bring it down hard. Is he distracting him or something? Come on. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> what are you doing? Distracting you, I think. Yep. That didn't work before. Oh, okay. They hit the stove. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Quill is gonna catch it. No. No. What? Take my hand, Peter. I knew they were gonna bring it back together. All right, cool, cool, cool. Come on, just take the hand. All right. Just take the hand. You didn't before. Do it this time. <laughs> Live together, die together. Hey, Drax is gonna join in. We saw earlier the, the, the people joining hands. It didn't really do anything, but let's see. Is Rocket gonna join? And if only they had Groot as well. Please tell me he's coming back, yeah? Immortal Owl! The Guardians of the Galaxy. That doesn't really explain it, but... All right. We got it back in the orb. That's what you get Ronan for not killing them. He had so many chances to kill him, but Ain't this sweet. And now this guy. Come on, man. If you give it to the Nova Corps. I may be as pretty as an angel. <laughs> no, you're not. But I sure as hell ain't one. <sighs> Wait, that looks different. Not open that orb. You know that, right? Oh, maybe it is. He's trying to get him, get it to open him, open it, so then it's gonna destroy him or something. Good, we didn't deliver him to his dad like we were hired to do. That guy was a jackass. To his dad. What? A, who's his dad? I realizes I switched out the orb on. He was about the only family. I th so I guess they put in a different thing now because before it was it looked different. It had like holes and stuff in it. I don't know. <laughs> Groot grows back though, right? Like he's like a. Tr if they like planted this one of the sticks, will he like grow back or something? I don't know what I'm saying, man. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> uh, Drax and uh, Rocket. Your father, well. Oh, they wanted him. Very ancient. We've never seen here before. Why you were able to hold a stone for as long as you did. Yeah. <sighs> We'd like to express our profound gratitude for your help in saving Xandar. <laughs> Rocket's got Groot. So, a they said we should we uh, we um. And child shall rest well. That you have avenged them. Really, Thanos, I need to kill. Her father. We tried to keep it as close to the original. 
They rebuilt the ship. They rebuilt the ship. To warn you against breaking any laws in the future. Hmm. Question. What if I see something that I want to take and it belongs to someone else? <laughs> but what if I wanted more? <laughs> oh, no, I wanted more, sir. Understand? What are you laughing at? <laughs> someone does something irksome. And I decide to respond. <laughs> Uh, murder, yep. <laughs> also illegal. Yep. Very much illegal. <laughs> Immoral. He's gonna finally open the gift. <sighs> Peter. Peter, Peter, Peter. I know these last few months have been hard for you. Go into a better place. You'll be okay. I will always be with you. You are the light of my life, my precious son, my little star lord. Love, mom. <laughs> <laughs> she called him star lord, so that's his alias now, or his, uh, what was it, criminal name or something? I forgot. Volume two. <laughs> All right, cool. And didn't get on the same tone as they started it on. I like it. Hey, there she is. Come on. Come on, dance. And I want to. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> Fooled ya. Fooled ya, bro. Open it, go on. It's a bomb. <laughs> it's that dog. <laughs> Lovely. I was trying to look at the thing. The doll wasn't there, but then the ship like crashed multiple times. So maybe I was like, he lost it, but no, he didn't. He sent it to him. Lovely. <laughs> Groot's back. I told you he'll come back. Just plant him again. Plant the seed. Well, your lead, Star Lord. <laughs> Bitabo. All righty then. His father, though. Who's his father? I was gonna say, but then there was some stuff going on, so I didn't. You know, his mother, when she was dying, she said he was like an angel. She was made out of uh, light or something like that. And I thought that's like metaphorical or something. And at the moment, actually, I said, maybe that's how it is. You never know with this world. Is that what was she telling the truth? Because his father isn't Terran or whatever human. I think that that's what that means or something. I don't know what that means. Crude's having fun. <laughs> All right, lovely. <laughs> Any post credit scenes? No raccoons or tree creatures. <laughs> cool, lovely. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> it said raccoon references provided by, I don't know, Oreo and friend or something. There it is. Post credit scene. There always is. The collector. What's this dog? Is this like a reference to the space monkey that they sent? You know, the monkey they sent to space the first time they were trying to go there? You let it lick you like that for? Gross. He's <laughs> got a talking duck. I was like, How Howard the Duck. Oh, oh, okay. I was like, is that Donald Duck? But it doesn't, obviously doesn't sound like it. Is that even Disney? It might not be Disney, actually. I don't know, man. All right, that's the end of that movie. Wow, that was a good movie. It's a really good movie. I loved it. All right, I enjoyed this movie quite a lot. Ooh. 
It's pretty good. It had a lot of comedic moments, a lot of emotional, heartfelt moments, a lot of gloomy moments, you know. Some nice motivational moments as well. The We Are Groot moment was pretty cool. And then now that I think about it, then them coming together with the Infinity Sword, that was kind of similar to that. It's kind of, not really, but kind of, you know. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's wrap my head around this one. It was pretty good. It was very good. I liked it quite a lot. I liked the comedic aspect quite a lot. I like comedy. I enjoy it. As you can see, I'm very easy easily amused. I, I, every single movie that I have seen, and granted I haven't seen too many, <laughs> I have enjoyed. So I, 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 I'm very easily amused, you know. And uh, same here. I loved it. I love every bit of it. It was so good. There was really good action sequences as well. And the thing that made this, I think, separate than the others is the fact that you had action and really badass action but during those actions you had like Groot and Rocket and a Star Lord and you know all these guys Drax and they're, they're making jokes and funny comments and it's just it's really intense and there's a lot of tension and then they make like funny comments and then you're laughing and then you're like ooh and then you're laughing again and it's just it's incredible the way it was done I loved it I really did it was a really good movie and the opening scene was extremely emotional I, I was not ready for that at all. This guy who made this list for me, Croingram or Bram War Rubber, you'll see him in the comment section as well. He's helping me with these movies and stuff like that. And he told me that this is like a very funny movie. And when I started, the first scene is like one of the saddest scenes I've seen in the entire, you know, universe or whatever this is, the, the Marvel movies, right? And I'm like, well, how is this funny? This is not funny at all. Like, in no way, shape, or form is this funny. <laughs> like, and then obviously after that, it turns into the, the shift in tone. Like, the very next scene after that is when he gets abducted, right? It goes 26 years later, and then he's playing the music, he's dancing, he's kicking those things around, and it's a completely different tone. It, it just from sad to happy. Like, it's it, it was amazing the way it was done. I thought, I, well, at least I think, I don't know. Maybe you'll disagree, but let me know if you do. But I thought this was a really good movie. I didn't really think is Ronan right the m main villain of this one I guess the main villain is Thanos but Ronan was the focus of this movie and so I didn't really like him I mean I guess you could say that he's kind of doing what he thinks is best for his people the Kree but he's destroying everybody else and so I just d I d I don't know, I just didn't like him all that much, you know. I like characters that are a bit morally grey or villains that are a bit morally grey. Someone who's just not outright bad and I... F I just, I just didn't feel bad for him at any point. Like, I get it. He was trying to do what he thinks is best for his people, but at no point did I feel any sympathy for him at all. And so, because of that, I didn't really like him. But he was super badass, though. That scene where he, that guy's, uh, I don't know what that thing was standing there telling him, like, lower your voice or something. I don't know, something like that. When he's talking to Thanos, right? He just does that thing with his hammer and just snaps his neck. It was such a badass scene. So he was extremely badass and terrifying and that in that aspect he was good but it was just you knew he was a bad guy and he was the bad guy you know what i mean like there was no like dilemma oh, should i like him should i not like him you know that there was none of that he's a bad guy straight up no no messing about he is out to get you there's no two ways about it now i will say he had the chance to kill drax he had the chance to kill star lord he, well he had the chance to kill them all he had the infinity stone and the hammer with him and he just didn't kill them like he would just do the do thing and it would like throw him away but it wouldn't kill him like douche a bit harder like kill him like what are you doing bro <laughs> yeah groot oh my god groot is like the baddest deadliest sweetest at the same time character do you know what i mean like that one scene where he like puts his hand i guess uh, the branch i guess hand branch <laughs> through like a line of people and then he's smashing them kills all the people around him and he keeps going absolutely destroys them all like you can't say he killed them because what he did to them is way more than just kill them <laughs> and then he turns, turns around and gives you a cute smile and you're like oh do you know what I mean? And then that flower moment with that girl, do you know, uh, so he's like, he's extremely brutal, but sweet. And he's as sweet as he is brutal, which is fantastic. Rocket, we get to learn a little bit about him. We see his back first off, didn't exactly know what was going on with him there. And then later on, he says, you know, all the things that happened to him, I didn't ask for this. And then you start feeling a little bad for him. And you kind of start to understand why he is the way he is. So his character was fantastic. Very funny as well. And by the way, even 
even though that guy told me that uh, Rocket was played by Bradley Cooper and I also saw it in the credits, I still cannot hear Bradley Cooper. It, 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 that just goes to show the range that man has. You, I just don't hear Bradley Cooper when he's talking. Like you guys can tell me all you want. I do not hear Bradley Cooper and that just shows how good Bradley Cooper is. Peter Quill, pretty good. He's a kind of uh, start he's gotten it's a very gloomy sad you know sort of a start but he's managed to turn into someone very different very happy very funny very you know sort of a chill sort of dude like a fun guy and that's fantastic especially since the kind of start he was given now speaking of peter quill and his mom that moment where she says take my arm that was heartbreaking especially when he takes his face away from her but then it all comes back you know, together at the end, he sees the vision when Gamora says, take my hand. And it's just a sweet moment right there with him and Gamora and well then Drax and um, Rocket as well joins in. And it's just amazing. But another thing, his father, who is he? Now, don't tell me uh, if it's a spoiler because I do see Volume 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, which I guess is a nod to the, the, the mixtape, right? It was volume one. I thought it was seven, but it was one. And then he got volume two at the end. So is that what is that what a reference to that is? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but might be. But but anyways, his father, uh, if it's discussed in volume two, then obviously don't mention it. But just mention that it is discussed, but don't tell me anything. Obviously, you don't want to spoil anything for me. But if it's not, then do enlighten me a little. Who is his father? Because he's not fully ter Terran or something. I assume that means human. I'm not entirely sure. Also, help me with that. What is that? Is that the same as human or is that different? And then when his mom said he was like an angel made out of light and all that so she was being literal i thought she was like like metaphor she was like telling a metaphor or something but i guess she's from the drax people there are no metaphor <laughs> no but um yeah so i'm not entirely sure how that works and if his father is some ancient being like they say he is then i guess it makes sense how he was able to hold on to the stone for so long and then the others joined in as well but what what does trouble me a little is okay sure he's this being and that's why he was able to you know withstand it well, but how come the others were especially rocket like he's a raccoon you know how was he able to withstand the stone uh, the songs they were playing the songs that they were playing obviously i'm not uh, familiar with any of those songs but they were upbeat sort of happy sort of music and I liked it. I liked the, the, the addition of those songs into this movie. I thought that that aspect of it was fantastic as well. I thought overall it was a very well done movie. It just makes me so excited because I know James Gunn is doing the Suicide movie, the next, uh, the new one, which I'm so excited for as well. The first Suicide Squad, I know people don't really like that one all that much. But like I said, I enjoyed the heck out of it. I like I said, I... I'm very easily pleased. But yeah, after seeing this, I'm so excited, man, to see the new Suicide Squad by James Gunn, because this guy's a genius. He's amazing. The way this movie was done, I mean, the actors and them, don't get me wrong, they smashed it. They were amazing, but it was the overall movie. It was the actors, the music, the the settings, the plot. The It was everything together mushed into one. That all of it together is why I like this movie so much. It wasn't just the acting or just the music or it was everything together. And well, the guy behind that, well, there are many people behind that, but the main guy behind it is James Gunn. And so I'm so excited for the Suicide Squad movie as well. Now let's get down to business. So ranking these movies against each other rank them with me as we go so previously I put Avengers at number one and I'm going to leave it at number one because I don't know if any movie will ever top that because it was the first time we saw all of these superheroes together. It's just such an amazing moment. It gives you chills, you know, seeing them all together for the very first time. So Avengers is going to stay at number one. That's the first Avenger movie. Then at number two, I had Winter Soldier. You know what? I'm going to keep Winter Soldier at number two. Then at number three, I had the first Iron Man movie. Ooh, this is interesting. I don't know if I... Should I put Guardians above the first Iron Man movie? So now you know Guardians is that highly rated, at least in my books. You know what? No, I'm going to put Iron Man, the first Iron Man, that is, at number three. And then Guardians is going to go at number four, which means that... At number four, previously I had Iron Man 3, so Iron Man 3 is going to slide down to number five. Number six is going to be Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, that is. 
At number seven is going to be Thor. That's the first Thor movie. Number eight is going to be Thor The Dark World. And the only reason I have Thor The Dark World above Captain America the First Avenger, now you know that that goes at number nine, is because of Loki. Loki was stupendous in that movie. And then number 10 will be Iron Man. Now, this is uh, ranked in terms of how much I enjoyed it. I enjoyed all of them, but Avengers I enjoyed the most, and Winter Soldier, then Iron Man. And Iron Man 2, I enjoyed the least. That's all that is. Like I said, up to this point, share your list with me. We've got 10 movies here. I think at the start, I said this is the ninth movie. That, this is not the ninth movie. I've seen nine movies. This is the 10th movie. That's what I meant to say. Anyways, that's enough of that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like I said, I'm going to do many different things and you can suggest as well if there's something that you'd like me to see. I haven't, I haven't seen much, honestly. So pretty much anything you suggest will be new to me for the most part. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, have a nice...